What's going on everybody? It's your boy J-Main, back checking in with the people. Crazy news we got today. As we just learned, Sean Layden has departed from Sony Interactive Entertainment. Yes, Sean Layden departs from Sony Interactive Entertainment, serving as the chairman of Worldwide Studios. Wow. Sony dropped a tweet giving us a little goodbye. Goodbye, Sean. We're going to miss you. In the tweet, it says, It is with great emotion that we announced that Worldwide Studios chairman Sean Layden will be departing SIE. His visionary leadership will be greatly missed. We wish him success in future endeavors and are deeply grateful for his years of service. Thanks for everything, Sean. Wow. End tweet. Nothing more, nothing less. What is it, 7.05 p.m. Eastern time? That this tweet dropped? Like, <laughs> that timing alone is just weird for me. It, it's almost like they wanted to throw this dude out the back door <laughs> when nobody was looking and just try to move on like ain't nothing happening. <laughs> Usually, like, when somebody big leaves a company, they, like, you know, make it a grand announcement maybe in the morning when everybody's kind of focused on social media, maybe checking the emails, checking their daily sites. Now, this is, like, 7 o'clock at night. Seems, like, effective immediately. Get the stepping. The hell up out of here, Sean. <laughs> But nah, man, Sean Layden, he was he was cool. He was a cool cat. Um, he took over, well, when I noticed that he took over is when he started doing like E3 press conferences in place of Jack Trenton. I remember that vividly because I remember how much difference uh, his delivery was versus Jack Trenton. And I was like, this dude, he might be a cool cat. I don't know him other than, you know, what he's what he's doing up there on the stage. But he ain't no Jack Trenton. So <laughs> that's like was my first and most like lasting memory or impression of Sean Layden was that he was a cool cat, but he wasn't Jack Trenton. But anyway, um, yeah, Sean Layden leaving SIE Worldwide Studios as chairman. He's been with the company for a long time, believe it or not. Um, starting back in 1987, I'm reading here, he was uh, a communications assistant for the co-founder of Sony for several years. Then he managed international software development at Sony Computer Entertainment London until 1999. And then he became vice president of Sony Computer Entertainment Europe. And we still in 1999, <laughs> like this dude has had a lot of positions. Uh, after serving nine years, he became president of Sony Computer Entertainment in Japan. So this dude went from Japan to London to Europe, back to Japan. Um, and now we in 2007 up until 2010. In 2010, he was one of the founding members of Sony's Network Entertainment International, serving as executive vice president and COO. So he's had his hands everywhere when it comes to Sony and even PlayStation, because as you know, he goes on to take over for Jack Trenton in April 2014. 2014, like I said earlier, he took over for Jack Trenton. I remember vividly because he replaced them also at those E3 press conferences and pretty much all other conferences and like big interviews that they had did at the time. And I just remember vividly that he was like such a difference um, in delivery from Jack Trenton. You know, Jack Trenton just had that had that swag. You know what I mean? You just born with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it ain't taught you born with it. As simple as that. But um, yeah. So from 2014 to 2018, he held that position down as president. <clears throat> and then in 2018, he became chairman. Now, I don't know if that's kind of like a downgrade. That kind of seems like a downgrade right there. Hmm. That could, could, that, that could mean something right there. They kind of downgraded his position. You go from president to chairman. I don't know. But he did have an a important role still at Worldwide Studios to where he was making sure that the platform was providing defining content and things that helped drive the growth of Sony Computer. I mean, Sony Computer, they ain't been that for some years. Sony Interactive Entertainment. 
Um, so yeah, still an important role, but now only holding that role down for about <clears throat> a little over a year, he's no longer doing that. He's no longer holding that role down, and we don't know why. Whew. A lot of things crossed my mind when I first heard this. One was like, why not? Why now? Why now? You know, PlayStation is on top. They're doing their thing. 100 million consoles sold. Just bought Insomniac Games. They're a part of the Worldwide Studios. In fact, Sean Layden was one of the ones who uh, was in that the article that released about, you know, bringing Insomniac Games on board. As we know, getting Insomniac on PlayStation probably was a a task that they've been working on for years. Insomniac not wanting to, you know, go from independent to being under a parent. <clears throat> so getting that done was a big thing. That could have been something that he was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna get this done, then I'm out of here. You know what I mean? That's like my my final my final thing I wanted to do before I go. <clears throat> um or, you know, another thing that came across my mind was that maybe the vision he had for Sony Interactive Entertainment Worldwide Studios wasn't something that everybody agreed on. Wasn't something that everybody agreed on. And being that he is not top dog, you know what I mean? He got people to answer to. And maybe they looking at him like, I don't I don't know. We trying to go in this direction, this next generation. You seem to want to do this. This is pure speculation, folks. I don't have no facts to back it up. If any information comes out, I'll do an updated video and come out and, you know, Re reassess my uh my thoughts but as of right now i'm thinking maybe he had different visions than what they had going on and they're like you know what we want to move in a different direction um you want to go in this direction and instead of firing your ass because <laughs> he's been there for about 30 years over 30 years he's done a lot for sony and playstation so instead of firing your ass we're gonna let you depart we're gonna let you step down and we're gonna go from there and I think he deserves that. Out of respect, if that's the case. Out of respect, I think he deserves that. You know, there's a power struggle going on. Maybe maybe he wanted more power. You know what I'm saying? He saw some visions that he thought would be right. Sometimes, you know, you're going back and forth with your, with your employer. Like, look, I think we need to do this. This is what works. They like, nah, the future is this. You know what I mean? We see what's going on from projections, from numbers, and we want to go this way. And he's like, no, I need more power because I need to make this shit happen. They're like, you know what? Time to go. <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> so yeah, man. Sean Layden is out of here. It's funny. I seen um a joke from Anchorman on uh, Twitter. He was like, Phil Spencer's the only one left standing. And it's funny because I remember at um I think it was at the Game Awards. Yeah, the Game Awards last year. They uh, Reggie Fiesel May, Sean Layden, and Phil Spencer got up on stage together. You know, trying to come together and make a unified statement about gaming and. How we you know we need to come together and make things right. And now out of all three of those people, <laughs> Phil Spencer is the only one that still works at his, you know, his company at Xbox. Um shit, who knows? Maybe Sean Layden will nah, he ain't gonna come back in a different position. He's done. Cause they would have just, you know, he would have picked up a different position at that point. So maybe he'll come back in the future, but I highly doubt it. Maybe he'll go to a different company. Maybe he'll go to Xbox. Shit, maybe he'll go to Nintendo. I don't know. But he has the experience in the industry, I think, to get pretty much work anywhere the hell he wants, anywhere he wants to work. Anywhere he wants to work, I think he has that that experience, that clout. Um, he could pick that up. But yeah, this is crazy news, shocking news that we got here tonight. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Do y'all think um, it was a power struggle? Is that the reason why he's out of here? Do y'all think he was just done? You know what I mean? He got insomniac on board the company's on a high note shit jack train left on a high note too you know ps3 ended he <laughs> he weathered that storm you know he got that back on board and then he got up out of there when ps4 was coming out and taking the world by storm sean Layden, you know we expect ps5 to drop next year be revealed next year playstation 100 million like i said and he's just like you know what we got insomniac on board last of us has been the release date is revealed we won game of the year last year. They got this. You know what I mean? I, I, they got this. I'm out of here. You know, I'm done. You know, I want to give him that that respect to that. Maybe it wasn't a power struggle. Maybe it was he was just done with the job. He felt that what he what he had to do in this position, he was good. Maybe he just wanted to take a step back, 
pick up a smaller position, kind of just chill. You know what I mean? These ain't, you know, these ain't young chickens no more, you know? This guy been in the game for 30 some odd years. He's been in the game longer than I've been born. So, and I'm 27. So, if I'm doing, you know, one company for that many years, I might be done too. Especially when we this, um, you know, this much on the high. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to get out of here, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And yeah, follow me on Twitter at jmain 518 Also, tune in to the Press Start Podcast every Thursday at 8.30 Eastern on Press Start Podcast YouTube channel. I'm going to holler at y'all in my next video. Good night.